Hi Sagittarius, this will be uh, your reading for December and it'll be what, one, two, three, five cards. So, um, and the noise in the background is my dryer, so I apologize, but I have to, oh, it just went off. Okay, <laughs> should have just waited a minute. Okay, um, well, I should be folding it, but I'll try to do your reading here first. Um, okay, so the bottom of the deck, I pull, pulled the Four of Pinnacles. I got a lot off this card. Um, I got conserving money, but one pinnacle you don't even see coming. So I felt like this pinnacle you don't know about yet. Um, so you could be, you know, receiving unexpected money somehow, like a Christmas bonus, um, a raise, a promotion of some sort, uh, some sort of accolade, um, you know, something like that. Um, you also may be feeling isolated or alone with your financial troubles right now. Some of you have your furnace or, you know, your heater on low to save money, uh, you know, uh, trying to budget for, um, I don't know if it's for Christmas presents or you're just trying to budget like I am right now. I'm, I'm not even going to buy Christmas presents. So, I mean, I just can't do it this year, but, um, so I'm just like trying to budget every way I can even think of just to survive, you know, so you may be doing the same thing. Um, and for others of you out there, you could be holding on to people, issues, or things that you no longer need, you know, like uh, material things or something like that. Um, so it might feel good to just uh, like go through some of your old clothes or your old things that you don't need any longer and give it to charity is what I was thinking with that card. Okay. And then, um, you know, of course, this is the Rider weight that I will always use. I've always used it, and I always will um, in every reading. But And then I pulled the Hierophant. And with this card, I got um, maybe some of you are starting to attend a new church. Um, and then others of you might be getting married. Um, others of you might have court or school or legal matters. Um, and then I got the words come into my mind, fair, justice, wise, and balance. Um, and then I was looking at these pillars and it seems like between a rock and a hard place. Or that's a feeling that I got from this card this time anyway. Um, but then I wrote, you, you hold the keys to your success, but honesty and fairness is required. So you have the keys down here and it could be, uh, more than one person involved, you know, could be two people or husband and wife or, you know, whatever. Um, and you're equal in what you're wearing and your look and that sort of thing. Um, so anyway, fairness and let me see if I get anything else. Um, he is holding up two fingers here, which I always think of, you know, the peace sign, you know what I mean? Um, this could be a counselor counseling a, a married couple and trying to keep the peace and try to keep the marriage together. Yeah, that's a definite for someone, I think. But you do, both of you have flowers on your your gown or whatever here. 
And I always think of flowers as being happy. So there could be reconciliation for some of you. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll move on. And you can get your own messages from these as well. You know, when I, well, the only card readers I watch is for Virgo because I'm a Virgo, but um, I will look at the cards while they're talking or I'll pause it and look and, um, and I will get my own messages. So you can get your own messages as well, you know. And then um, I pulled um, a Crystal Angel card and I got calcite so let me read this to you um, busy times and multitasking take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly and sorry and honestly assess your honestly <laughs> I'm having a hard time Honestly, assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Okay. I kind of butchered that. I'm sorry about that. Okay, and I'm going to read it to you out of this book, which I don't normally do, but I just felt guided to read this. So, um, this card comes to you because you are juggling multiple responsibilities, and you may feel stressed about your schedule. Well, it is about to be Christmas, so, and, and we just passed Thanksgiving, so yeah, this is a really busy time for everybody, or most everybody, you know. Um, there's also a possibility that your health has been strained because you're doing everything yourself without help. You may even feel that other people are taking advantage of your kind generosity. You are being guided to take charge of your schedule. What can you release in order to give yourself more breathing room? Remember to, to pray for strength in settle, setting boundaries and say no to inappropriate requests for your time. If you tend to people please and feel obligated to say yes to others, so, yeah, say no, you know, because, um, you know, people pleasing people um, always say yes. And I'm the same way. I always say yes and uh, rarely say no. And but sometimes we just need to. Right. We just need to take care of ourselves uh, for a change. Um, this card can also be an indication of drama addiction. When there's a pattern of stressing yourself needlessly, signs of this include feeling a rush of adrenaline or sense of self-importance in response to your hectic schedule, boasting about how busy you are or affirming a sense of victimhood and powerlessness over your schedule. Well, that's kind of rude. Uh, and it could be true for some people, but geez. Let's not beat around the bush here. Uh, who is this? Doreen Virtue. <laughs> okay. We'll just take that as it resonates. And, and really think about it and really be honest with yourself. In addition, this card is a sign of busy times ahead. In these cases, it's best to plan your health strategy for dealing with multiple responsibilities while still being responsible to yourself. And about calcite. One of the most common crystals on the planet, calcite comes in a variety of colors and ranges from opaque to clear. It is renowned for clearing negativity, assisting with grounding, and increasing focus. So this is a good one. That would be a good stone to have. Uh, if you don't have it, you don't have to have it. You could Google a picture of it and just kind of meditate it on, a, on it for a minute or two. So you don't have to have the stone. But it would be helpful if you got one, you know, now or eventually or whenever you're at a, you know, metaphysical store again. 
So yeah, that's a, a really good stone to have. But anyway, okay. I think for most people, it's not going to be that selfishness uh, that it was talking about. I think for most people, it's Christmas time and we're just all busy. So, okay. And then the yes, no, I picked a yes and no uh, card. And um, I picked no. A rainbow, <laughs> no, say no, right? It said to say no to some people that are taking advantage of your generosity, right? Okay, a rainbow of excitement is on the way. The longer the wait, the more your enthusiasm builds. Be patient. There are only a few steps to go before your immersion into a new reality. It develops exponentially, bringing you invaluable experiences, most of them happy. Patience is the father of good character. Oh, well, that's pretty good. And then it says, if no, a hero isn't always rewarded, yet they are still a hero. Keep your unwavering faith in yourself and justice will turn the situation around in ways you never saw coming. Oh, that reminds me of this in ways you never saw coming, right? Unexpected money here. Or, you know, valuables or material things or whatever. Okay. You cannot believe in God until you believe in yourself. So, yes, definitely believe in yourself always. So, anyway, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then um, this was, of course, number four. So, number four might mean something to you. And the Hierophant is number five. So, that just kind of goes in sequence, too. All right. Well, I think that was a pretty good reading. I mean, it's just um, you're budgeting and you're just, just trying to hang on to your money and spend it wisely. So, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed at this time, um, but I feel like that's natural. And especially for those of you that are like maybe retiring or thinking about retiring or something, you know, it's, it's, it can be rough. Um, but anyway, guys, okay. I hope you have a good month of December and I'll be uploading other stuff through the month. All right. I hope you have a good one. All right, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See if I can turn this off. I don't have my pen. Oh, sorry, maybe I can do it this way. I'm sorry, not together. Okay.